when we think about context and audience buying uh, and, and the power of those two things together, it's, it's really gonna change how we do business at, at Warner. And I think what you've seen over, over recent years is you've seen a real focus on audience buying. And there's been the shift where context has become more and more important. And we're very lucky here that we have both, right? We have incredible IP and we've got you know, great storytellers and amazing content across all of our different brands. Uh, but it's really been, how do we identify the right audiences for an advertiser so they know who they're hitting and against which content. So your ability to tie context and audiences together is what really is gonna deliver like the best ad experience. And, and it's something that we're, we're very much focused on here. Uh, we're doing a lot on the technology side, right? We're building a lot more technology here at Warner uh, to really help us understand how to find those people at the right moments when they're consuming the right content and deliver them up easily to our advertising partners so they can relay their message uh, in the right environment. So it's super important for us. What does contextual advertising look like and how are you guys going about it at Warner Media? We're, we're approaching contextual advertising uh, with a slightly unique spin. We're not just thinking about how we, hit, uh, how we deliver our consumers a correct ad at the right time when they're consuming their favorite program. We're also thinking about what's the right amount of advertising to serve to them? How engaged are they in the content? Um, we, we believe that depending on what type of programming you're watching, you might be better off as an advertiser delivering the slightly you know, lighter ad load to someone and that may be way more meaningful uh, than your kind of standard 30 second ad spot. So when we think of context, it's really about not just about the programming, but also what is the right amount of ad to be delivering someone when they're consuming certain content. How is the fan audience experience being redefined in an area of streaming and what's the impact on advertisers? Yeah, I, th I think the, the fan experience uh, and the impact that streaming has had on it has been really, really interesting. And it's actually uh, been amplified a lot during this pandemic. Uh, we conducted a, a research study and we looked at how consumers are spending their time in this age of intentionalism, right? They're being way more um, specific and, and kind of uh, intentional about what they watch and when they watch it. Uh, they're watching more and more TV, you know, across connected devices. And, you know, they're looking for a much more personalized experience. And that's what like the connected TV experience is actually helping to deliver. So there's this constant, constant feedback loop for innovation uh, that, that we're seeing through connected TV that's really helping to power personalization across these platforms. Um, so you see it on HBO Max, you see it across our, our various networks like TNT, TBS, and CNN. So we're really trying to capture that person and understand we don't have them. Uh, we don't have their attention for as long as we've had it in the past. We know you're in and out of different applications. Uh, so when we do have you, we're trying to learn as much as we can uh, and to kind of deliver the best ad experience we possibly can to you at that moment. I think a key trend to look out for this year is um, you'll see companies really start to rethink ad experiences and be way more considerate of the consumer. You know, Warner Media is a pioneer in this regard and you know, we've been first to market with limited commercial interruptions across many of our networks, you know, TNT, True TV, and TBS. Uh, and I think now kind of continuing on, uh, we wanna be really customer focused at, and, and think about ad experiences outside your traditional 15 or 30 second um, ad spots. So you know, you've seen this a bit in some of the formats we've introduced this year on HBO Max, like our, our brand block format. Uh, where we're giving advertisers like share a voice of an entire commercial break. They're also getting a lighter ad load, introducing uh, the content before you watch it. Uh, and I think that's really paying off. We're, we're seeing that the ad engagement and the brand recall against these experiences are, are trending uh, much stronger than, than your traditional ad experience. So I think that's a big trend to, to look out for this year is that consideration of the consumer and how we alter ad load uh, to, to really um, value their time.